and does not score. Yet from Mova, Wizards circles up and evades a takedown. Snap down into a really nice looking slide by, but she couldn't score that either. So front headlock now. Yet from Mova driving towards the leg, and the official blows the whistle. So. About 30 seconds into this thing, there's been plenty of action. There's a single leg again for Onishi, but can't score. Something tells me somebody's going to have to go on the clock here soon. Yep. And it will be Yefremova, so she'll have 30 seconds to score. If she doesn't, Onisha will, Onishi, pardon me, will go out in front by one. Snap down into a front headlock now for your Onishi. And back up. So eight seconds left here on the shot clock with about a minute to go in the first period. Nice high crotch, great down block by Onishi. That's one point for the shot clock expiration. And underhook and Yefremova is, this is probably the most evenly matched final that we've seen at the, as far as skill level goes. Um, there have been mismatches in, in other departments. There's a single leg and Yefrem, oh boy, you gotta let that go. Well, but then again, doesn't mind me getting torqued on, so. I will say this. It's interesting that Onishi is the only Japanese wrestler that I have seen today, the women's uh, wrestler, that I have seen today shoot a right-handed single leg as opposed to a left. And she is only, she's the only one that has not scored at like a, 70 or 80 percent clip. So take with that what you will. Take from that what you will, I should say. Here we go. Low single again with the right hand. Again, Yefremova pulls it up, and you know we we talked a little bit in Greco about just because you get put down in the first period doesn't mean necessarily that the other wrestler will get put down in the second period. Now, that is less true for the shot clock in freestyle. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think that the official will yeah, wind up putting Onishi down, or excuse me, putting her on the clock now. So, and she does. And so, I, you know, I is it fair? I don't know. Does it really warrant a shot clock? Uh, snap down right into that slide by, but she can't pull the elbow through the body. So, Yefremova is keeping herself towards the center with 102 left to go. There's a short offense throw by by Onishi. And that'll be the one point for the shot clock expiration. So the score is 1-1. Yefremova, now Yefremova down in short offense. And Onishi creating an angle with her right hand to that single leg. And she's got the arms trapped up, does Yefremova. She's going to have to go to the other side. 
And low single, short offense, Rick Yefremova. 28 seconds left. Elbow control is tight for Yefremova. This time, Onishi goes real solid lock on that front headlock. Let's see if she tries to tip her over. 17 seconds left. Onishi is stalking. Gets to that single leg much deeper now. Oh, wizard kick for four. Two is what I said. Two, you got to listen closely. But either way, it scores. And it's a takedown with short time on the clock. And Yefremova from Ukraine will be her winner. My goodness. She was driving her towards the edge. And just when you thought she was going to give up a step out, she turns, wizard kicks, and gets exposure and a takedown to win a gold medal here at the U-17 World Championships. Outstanding effort there by Yefremova from Ukraine. That's cool. Good for her. Heck of a wizard kick to finish things off there.